Today we're going to show you how to, upon receiving your Faro S350 or S150, program the scanner prior to going out into the field if you're going to be using the onboard registration function. As you can see when you open up the scanner, this is your base screen. And what we're going to do is the management button on the bottom right hand corner will be what we start with. And we're going to the on-site registration button, third from the bottom, and we'll open that up. Now as you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, options in this screen, but we're going to uh, show that this is actually pretty simple. You can tell the scanner that you're using sphere targets or that you're using checkerboard targets. But if you are like most of us, most projects now do not require targeting. You can just simply go down to the registration portion and it gives us options for what type of registration we want the scanner to perform while you are in the field doing the scan. We've got no registration, again, target based. So if you were going to be using sphere targets or checkerboards, you would choose target based but you can also choose top view, cloud to cloud, or the default, which is top view and cloud to cloud. If you're not familiar with this, the top view and cloud to cloud does not require targeting, and it's utilizing the geometry of your surroundings when you're in the field in order to put the scans together. First, looking down on each scan, say scan one and scan two, looking for corners of equipment, walls, uh, things like that. It's rotating the scans until these geographic geometry corners match up and putting them together like puzzle pieces. The second here is cloud to cloud is the second process. That is where they're looking for common XYZ points in space and it's going to then tighten that registration up. It is as simple as that. If you choose this option you are now ready to go into the field, scan with the S-Series scanner, and it will register as you're going along. Now, in case you haven't seen some of the basics with our previous uh, videos, just to review, if you're going to uh, first name the project in the scanner, you then go into the Projects and Clusters screen, you click Add, You can add your customer's name. You can add the project name. Also, depending on the type of project that you're doing, indoor or outdoor is the easiest way to break that down. You can go into your profiles. With Atlantic Laser Scanning, we provide two pre-programmed profiles, indoor and outdoor. So if we just open up our outdoor, which is what the generally the scanner comes set in, we can just quickly look at the resolution and the general outdoor setting is going to be a one quarter 3X with about 44 million points per scan. This is going to take right around six to eight minutes. And it will tell you scan duration here, but this does depend a lot on what your uh, light quality is when you're in the field, so that will vary. Uh, 3X is going to tell you how many times the scanner is going to hit the same point in space. So one quarter and 3X is a normal outdoor setting, and that's for large buildings or scanning outside. We have an indoor setting. This is something that you would use if you are scanning inside of a building, an office building with general normal size rooms. And if we take a look here, we have a 1 8th resolution, which is about 11 million points. And again, 3x quality or three times hitting the same point before moving on to the next. That will determine the speed that the scanner rotates. Hope this helps. If there's anything else that we can do for you guys, let us know.